honestly, I don't, I don't give a shit who fucking makes fun of me. I really don't. Jim sounds here. He's like, <laughs> look, my immune system is like a 12 year old boy at a Catholic church during COVID. Please don't fucking COPD me to, to death. And I'm like, Jim, God damn it. Let me get your death matter. Let me get your death interview. All I want to do is to make all the money on earth off of your death. God damn it. I, I don't care if you live or die. You're like an anime dungeon or whatever. There's all sorts of hentai in it. All of us would do that. All of us would do that. Except, except we would never admit it. We would just put it on your supple uh, leprosy riddled shoulders. Now on to me, because Jim is an unimportant little faggot wallowing over there like, oh, I'm dying. I've got terminal illnesses or whatever. Like, yeah, that's good. Would you die already so we can grift off your death? Oh, I'm going to do my Medicare stream where I make fun of somebody for 24 hours. Like, uh, Jim, will you just die already? Will you just die? Please, dear Christ, let me tell the world how Black Lagoon is the same as Andy Worski looking to PPP's asshole. Like, will you just do that? And I can cough like three times an hour for you. Or I have cancer AIDS. <coughs> <coughs> like I can just do that. I have a wife named Jade or what? I don't even know. Or your arm fell off. Your arm fell off. Like I know you're a mid-jerk, but your arm, like the leprosy pervaded your shoulder. Your arm fell off. <laughs> you wouldn't have to try as hard on my shoulders. So don't get me wrong. And like the falling down, like, uh, forearm and upper arm or whatever that just did it that just did it and i know but like the leprosy severed of that i would crowdfund every amount of hat i can to just get your leprosy riddled arm back on your supple <laughs> uh detroit transgender youth at a camp's body also jewish Just kidding, Jim. I'm I'm literally just kidding. Please live so we can throw you off a snow-covered balcony next year. You can die or whatever. I don't care. Like, I'll throw you into Tim Walls' butthole. Or Jacob Frey, the mayor of Minneapolis. Do you know what I'm pay? Jim, please. Pretend to be a child. So I can donate to Make-A-Wish. Just to have you learn black people dancing from Jacob Frey and record it. I don't know if I want to pretend to be a child with Vito and Chet. Oh my God. No, you can't be a child with Vito and Chet. Vito is, Vito is barred from this chat. He cannot be within 500 internets of this chat. Because if he does, he might find a minor. And if Vito finds a minor on the internet, he literally fucks the CD-ROM drive because he doesn't have a new computer. He fucks the CD-ROM drive until his dick runs Jewish and it circumcises him again. Nick, what the fuck are you talking about? Vito being a pedophile, Monograph being a pedophile, Medicare being dead from cancer AIDS, Legal Vice is being Korean. How is this hard? I don't fucking care about this internet shit. It's so stupid. We just get rid of this guy and the next guy. We just bring all the fucking faggy DBZ characters on the stream with our Nintendo Wii or Nintendo Switch or whatever. Just be like, ha-ha, Goku says, Krillin, you're gay. <laughs> Can we just do that? No. Oh, we have to fight? All right, so they set up an amateur boxing thing. It's always <laughs> To undercard the main event, the main event gets millions of views. They make tons of money. Good. Here we are going, wait, the fuck is this? Like, why is this life? <laughs> now I'm grifting off of the possibility that Medicare will die. If this motherfucker was at Niagara Falls with me, I wouldn't push him off the fucking cliff. That'd be really weird. I would push him into Canada and Trudeau would kill him with COVID up his butthole. And I would absolutely do it. Jim, if you were and I were at Niagara Falls, I would demand a hand job first, but I would shove your ass into Canada. Like, hey, Justin, son of, son of Fidel. 
will you please come down here and rid me of this problem? You're like, what can I do, my black brother? I'm like, I've done blackface as hard as you. Like, there's a guy here who's never done blackface. You know why? Why? Because he's in, he's in a wheelchair and it doesn't have rims. It doesn't have rims, Justin. It's like, oh my God, I got to get the Negro police on this. And then, a bunch of like weird Latino and Filipino Canadians come down. Like, we don't have blacks here in Canada. Blacks aren't welcome here because they steal bikes and we like to ride bikes in the mountains. But we do have Filipinos. We do have Latinos. Probably some Chinese. And maybe a Dominican or two when we need a knife. You're fucked, Jim. Jim's sitting there like, wait, no, he doesn't have arms. His arms do math. <laughs>